This is the room that we are going to be working with and transforming it from a bedroom into an office from where I can edit and create videos from. It's not the biggest of rooms coming in at 12 square meters. Now, the style of the bedroom, the red carpets, funky wallpaper, Arctic ceiling, none of that was gonna stay. I do love that mirrored wardrobe. However, I had some other plans for storage space. This room has to be the big productivity hub for me. You know, I need somewhere where I can spend days and days inside of editing, filming, organizing my kit for shoots. And it's my first time in my career where I can have a workspace separate to where I sleep and relax. All right, I have a couple of more days left at the flat, but a quick tour of this place. So, so as you can see, this is my whole office set up over here in this little corner. And forgive the mess, I am currently in the middle of packing up all my equipment to move to the new house. And yes, I am watching Scarface as well. That's the beast of the PC. Here's the living room, so sofa, TV, and that over there is supposed to be the dinner table, but it is in fact another streaming setup. And this is where Kirsty does her streams and her photo editing work. And then if we advance a little bit more forward uh, you know what I'm not going to show you the kitchen but the kitchen's right next to me over there it's it's a total mess right now and then through here we have the main bedroom and toilet and that's it that's all there is to this whole flat tour this space is literally the size of our new living room now plus we get two of our own separate rooms so I can have a room for my editing setup and Kirsty can have a room for her own editing setup so yeah as you can see the house is a massive upgrade from this flat although this flat is very bougie it's got like concierge swimming pool gym but all of that stuff has been locked off for the whole year anyway because of the pandemic I just can't believe how much stuff I have to move all of this needs to be organized in boxes now wish me luck by the way for anyone moving home I would recommend the high quality services from any van they'll punctual had great communication and took good care of moving our stuff you get full real-time driver tracking and also offered a complimentary home setup service so that's things like negotiating and setting up the best rates for broadband tv water electricity and organizing council taxes you simply fill out a form on their website input all of your details and you get an instant quote so shout out to any van for making the move process nice and easy that's got my knickers in it can't go <laughs> You don't need that many. You only wear one for the whole week. Oh, whatever. Look, I've got more. <laughs> All my summer bikinis. This is your new room, by the way. After stripping the whole room from the wallpaper, we discovered that the walls were not in the best condition and needed a fresh plaster. We we're also going to change the direction the door was going to open, so that meant some of the electricals had to move, so the new light switch position was cut and the old one got patched up. So in my previous house tour video, I showed you guys how the room now looks like after all the plastering has been finished. Storage space was something I was keen on getting just right, and I decided to go for a sliding door wardrobe at the end of the room. The idea is to then get some storage units placed inside and I wanted a foldable workbench. Legend Richard took me to a builder's warehouse where we picked out a kitchen worktop for that section of the room. I also had coving installed around the ceiling of the room and we painted the whole thing white. And for my feature wall, I went with a bold hexagonal design from the Lamborghini wallpaper collection in a black colorway. This is by far my favorite thing about the room and it's got a very sleek look to it. The texture is amazing and looks great in any lighting condition. My radiator, I got on Amazon. Although my PC has a Nvidia 3090 graphics card, so I don't know why I bothered getting a radiator in this room. It's never gonna get used. It just looks nice. And of course, you know me, I like my smart home devices and fancy LED lighting. I took laziness to a whole new level as I had a motor installed for my blinds. So when paired with something like an Alexa, it can be voice controlled. I also had coving installed, so when paired with the Philip Hue strips, the light will be nice and diffused around the whole room. It almost eliminates the need to have spotlights, but I just couldn't resist the RGB ones, so I had four of those as well. We eventually fitted the workbench into the storage compartment. Instead of always having it down, uh, we've got it on hinges. So that means I can have it all the way up onto the wall if I need that extra space for storage at some point. This is such hard work. You've built the whole house for us, pretty much. <coughs> Rebuilt the whole place. So whilst Richard does all the hard work upstairs, get the barbecue on. Let's go. So because I'm an adult now, I can do whatever I want. Uh, so I installed a slider into the ceiling. So this is how my room looks like now. As you can see, there's still no flooring and that is getting done today. Yes, I'm very excited about it. It's getting done today. 
big progress on the room. What do we have? We've got our sliding wardrobes. We've got a workbench, a foldable workbench. We have blinds. We've got the LED coving. We have the Lamborghini wallpaper. Oh, it's coming together very nice. Ooh, it's looking good. It's getting there, it's getting there. At this stage, the room has gone through a complete transformation and it's looking a lot more modern and fresh. like to say a big shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. One of my favourite teachers Ali Abdal has just released his second class of the series on improving personal productivity. It was the perfect thing to get myself organised, he's got a great way of explaining complex topics in logical and entertaining ways. Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and your skill level. Want to get into photography? there's a class for that. Want some advice on how to progress as a filmmaker? There's a class for that. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. These storage units came from IKEA and were super easy to assemble and they feel really sturdy. My, my day just keeps getting better and better. I've just had my delivery of my gaming chairs from the guys at GT Omega. Um, they've sorted me out with two, two chairs. One for me and one for Kirsty. These are the Element Series chairs. With a focus on sleek, minimalistic aesthetics and premium materials, it's durable, stylish, and most important of all, comfortable. I personally went with the Nappa Leather Edition as it offers more of a comfortable and durable finish that can withstand hours of daily use. Whatever one you decide to go with, it feels like you're sitting in a super luxurious sports car. They are unbelievably comfy. For more information where you can pick these up from, check out the links in my description. For now, I've laid out everything that I'm going to be using in my room. I've uh, got some hair product over there, got a drone, got some sound panels. Now these sound panels, we can start installing now. Maybe I can put this on this wall. After giving Kirsty a standing desk from FlexiSpot, I was impressed with the quality and the practical side of having a standing desk that it felt wrong not to have one for my office. The guys over at FlexiSpot were kind enough to send me their new three-stage desk frame E7. Again, everything I mentioned will have links in the description. The frame supports up to 125 kilograms of weight and has an adjustable width of 110 to 180 centimeters. To me, this means that I could take my old desk and attach it to the new frame. So all I had to do was screw in four screws on each side to uh, clamp the legs down. And now in terms of wiring, it's super simple. There's a motor here, motor there, connect that to the big box. And then we've got AC power going directly to a plug there. Also, I plugged in the remote control. So this is the moment where we'll see if this actually works or not. It comes with a control panel with an LED screen that shows you the height and allows you to program four different presets as well as manual control options to position the desk however you like. Okay, now all I have to do is screw this bit over about here. That here would look nice, I reckon. I can now lift my desk up from 60 centimeters all the way to 123 centimeters. Now I have the fun job of doing some cable organization. Happy days, my desk is now ready. Look at it. It's so beautiful, I'm loving this. And this touch panel is incredible. I've programmed it so it's perfect for when I'm sitting down at my desk. And when I fancy standing up, I tap this button. And it's ideal for standing up. Big up FlexiSpot, thank you for sending this through to me. I do have a lot of cable management to sort out now, but I think it will be pretty simple. So I'm having a little bit of trouble with uh, the Velcro sticky pads. It's not quite durable enough to hold this whole power brick with these cables pulling down on it. 
So as you can see, every time I stick it on here, it just sort of falls down. But never fear, I have a solution. Man's best friend, cable ties. It's not a dog, it's cable ties. They're a man's best friend. I'm gonna try and wrap the whole extension cord with some extension cables around this whole metal pole. So I'm thinking to create another video where I go into the specific details of all of the gadgets that I'm using for my filming and edit setup. So let me know if you'd like to see something like this by leaving a comment and dropping a like on the video. And one of the last finishing touches to the office is a neon sign that I got custom made from Yellow Pop. Let's go team no sleep. Okay, drum roll please. Okay, as you walk in, under my desk over here is a Philip Hue smart switch. So this little magnetic switch sits under my table and I just press it once to get all my lights on. And with the lights, it activates the neon sign, all of the cove lighting, the spotlight, and the lights behind my monitor. I have also added in some extra LED strips in my shelving unit. I feel like these two spaces will be uh, the biggest showcase of the room once the doors are open. So I thought I'd put in some general items on here like my 100K plaque, switch, uh, camera accessories, Rubik's Cube, wallet, and some filming accessories over here as well. And then over on this side, hello, by the mirror, if I slide over, this is where all my camera bags will go. And you know what, it's looking pretty neat, I'm liking this. And then if we go ahead and slide the doors back over, the workbench area is revealed right over here. You know what? I decided to stick another monitor in here, another camera and a camera up there. Oh, also remember the light that Josh got me in one of his videos, the Lifix light? I've installed that up here and it basically lights up whatever I'm filming down here as well as giving the room a very nice vibe. So yeah, you could call this a secondary setup. The other day I filmed a video for my tech channel where I unboxed this cage. So if you're interested in seeing that, you can go ahead and click over to that video. And yeah, so this is a nice secondary setup that I have going on in the room. So we have our super comfy chair sent by GT Omega over here. This is the Nappa leather edition. Look how sleek and beautiful it looks, especially in this lighting. And then we have my desk, which as I showed off many times, is a standing desk. With one press of a button, it lifts all the way up. I mean, can we just appreciate my cable management? Come on, it's not bad, is it? This is how the cable originally looks like. Obviously, you know how cables look like. But once it's in this sleeve, it just looks a lot nicer. I've done this with my key lights as well. And just appreciate this wallpaper. It's beautiful, especially when the light from the monitor hits it. You can see different colors and shades. Oof. This light switch as well, it's quite a bougie light switch. I got it from Buster and Punch. Um, would not recommend spending a lot of money on a light switch like this, especially when you've got smart lighting and all you need is a smart switch. But hey ho, <laughs> it's aesthetically pleasing. And the most eye-catching part of this setup is obviously the screen. It's a 40 inch ultra wide screen from Dell, big up to Dell. And then we have a little floating screen over here that's connected to the CCTV of the house. So I'm always aware of what's going on around the house. Oh, there you go. Some motion has just been triggered in the garden. In terms of cameras, I'm using the Sony a7s mark ii that is connected to the cam link pro and on the desk i have the razer goliath mat i think it's called logitech craft keyboard and the mx master 3 my new favorite gadget on this desk is the magnetic charger from anchor because i got the new iphone with the magsafe case all i have to do is just pop it on here and there you go it's just charging like that i can twist it around if i like and also if you have other devices like airpods you can also charge them down here too microphone wise i've got the elgato wave I've had this for quite a while, so this isn't nothing new, but the boom arm that it comes on is pretty new. This is a boom arm from Blue, and I like it. It looks very sleek, 
and the cables are very well hidden. And then obviously we've got our key lights on the left and right hand side and they are controlled by the Stream Deck. There you go, so I can just tap that button and why did the other one not turn on? Okay, well, I have some programming to do because that should work as well. And this is another favorite thing of mine, the custom neon sign from Yellow Pop. So if you like my neon sign, check out Yellow Pop because that's where you can customize your own neon sign. I've got mine that comes with a dimmable remote so I could have it on different levels because I don't always want it too bright. Sometimes I maybe want it a little bit dim. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So if you like my wallpaper, you'll know where to get it from. If you like this neon sign, I'll leave a link to that as well. If you fancy getting yourself one of these standing desks, I'll leave a link to that as well. So yes, thank you very much for tuning in to another home renovation video. Next up, the living room. You know what, to be honest, it's the living room and the whole rest of the house. We've got the hallways, we've got the master bedroom. Stay tuned to that. That's almost complete as well. I'm going to be working on that very, very soon. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.